Hey, welcome back. This is M Dog, and we are here in the Ukraine fishing for grass carp. You can see my setup here for the first feeder rod we're gonna put in the water. And the big big news is we're using a size four hook with grass boilies. Let's go ahead and get this out there so we can maybe get a catch here while you're watching the video. The reason why I wanted to make a video again here in the Ukraine, except this time featuring grass carp, is because they are now here. And with grass carp being here, they now, in my mind, beat out wild carp on the thing to grind for uh, at this location. I'm going to do grass carp on this, get that going. And from the sound of it, the grass carp have already started. It's a little late in the day, so this will be a shorter video because through the night, it's not as, uh, not as good to fish for grass carp. But <clears throat> let me see if I can, holy cow, I think they both have fish on now. The first one's got a bigger fish, though. This is our size four hook. We want to make sure this one does not escape. So once we catch the fish here, I'll, I'll explain why grass carp have replaced wild carp. Uh, but let's see if we can run this fish down. I'm using the grass boilies. Uh, any of the green boilies uh, may work. I mean, I've also tried mint boilies, and the grass carp seem to love the mint boilies as well. But the reason why I um, spent a lot of time yesterday doing this and farming the grass carp is because I was attempting to make it to level 15 so I could go to Poland, which Poland will probably be the next location that we do some feature videos on, but I had gotten to level 14 and was just ready to get to 15, and so I decided, well, what should I grind on, and that's kind of what led me to the grass carp. So um, if you are in that same boat, if you're at the Ukraine map but wanting to get past it, or even if you're a little higher level, I don't know that there's anything in Poland that would necessarily compete with this in terms of XP per hour. There may be, but um, this is pretty dang good. I mean, it is some it is some really nice XP. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a decent grass carp here. If we can pull it out. It's not going to want to lift up. There we go. Oh, look at that large wild carp. Isn't that funny? Here I am showing you the video about grass carp. So I think that's the first wild carp I've ever caught on the grass boilies. Now I have caught a one of the other carp variations. I mean, it's 98% grass carp, but occasionally you get something else. If uh, the bite rate slows down enough, I'll try to throw in mint as well so you can see a third option. But I believe this one will, in fact, be a grass carp. I mean, it's so rare that I've caught non-grass carp on the grass boilies that that actually was quite shocking to get a 16-kilo <laughs> wild carp on it. But um, shoot, I hope you uh, noticed how much XP that was. I sure didn't. Um, here, let me stop the boat for a second and see if I can, let's see, can't I scroll up on chat? Come on. I can't, I don't know. Okay. I was trying to see if you, if you can see it in chat, you can still see how much XP you got for a fish, I think, but. Anyway, you're gonna have to trust me because I skipped past it and I don't, I don't remember how much, I mean, that was a really, really nice um, wild carp. So it would have been a good one to compare. But alas, I did not compare. You have to trust me though that um, sort of per kilo on these fish, the grass carp are just the way to go on XP. I think silver is probably similar. Um, we can also try to compare this. This is going to be a grass carp, but it's not going to be as big as that wild carp. 
I believe grass carp, the green ones are over five kilo and blue is over 10. No, blue is not over 10. Blue, maybe that's, well, I don't know what it is. Blue's over something. But there's a 10 kilo grass carp, 447 XP, which is just a huge amount. Um, huge amount. And then we can go compare the silver. The wild carp may still be slightly better on the silver. My impression is that it's a, it's a, it's just about a wash. Like it's pretty close. Um, but even if wild carp is a little better for silver, which it may be, um, the grass carp are so much better on XP that uh, it's it's very notable. And they're still decent on silver. All right. Yeah, we don't want to use that right now. All right, we'll try to catch at least one more fish here before I am going to have to jet. All right, this one had a size four hook on there. And you could do multiple fours. I was kind of switching between, here's Mint. I was sort of switching between two threes and one four versus two fours and one three. It just depends on how insane the bite rate is. You will catch a lot of smaller grass carp if you have the size three hook, but your bite rate will be so much bigger that those add up too. Those are decent XP too. So, all right. So for the 16 kilo wild carp, you've got 38 silver for the 10 kilo grass carp. You've got pretty much 20 silver. So, even if they were the same size, again, the wild carp might be slightly more. I'm not sure. I will say this. For me, at least, it's a lot more common to catch a 16 kilo wild carp than it is to catch a 15 kilo plus uh, grass carp. So per hour, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and say that, especially if you're using nut as a bait and catching all those wild carp per hour, you're probably making slightly more silver on wild carp, but you're getting way more XP on grass carp. But again, once it gets to be nighttime like this, eventually the grass carp are gonna slow way down. And so what I would do is either at night, I would either switch to wild carp or maybe even to, to brim if you just want to kind of have something easier at night, maybe a variation of the two. If you need a break from chasing fish down in a boat, just catch some brim. That may actually have been the bigger fish, the other one. This is the one that got on first, and it seemed fairly decent size, but I hear the other one is just like pulling line out pretty quick. We'll see if we make it back to it. Almost 10 kilo, 436 experience. And again, that just really gets your XP bar moving. It's so nice. This is the size four hook. All 
And it's pretty much like this all day. Just fish after fish after fish, especially if you're having to take the time to go chase it down in the boat. It's a very exciting place to fish. I mean, it's, it's pretty constant during the day. This one's playing a little hard to get. Here it comes. There it goes. All right, that's another 10 kilo, 451. So we're hitting those 10 kilo ones very consistently right now, which is nice. Again, so much XP. And let's see what's on the... Um, mint boilies as well and definitely test out the grass carp overnight it may have just been I had some bad luck maybe they will bite through the night but I'm pretty sure they slow down significantly but I'm, I'm sitting here thinking and I'm wondering if I've ever really given it very long at night. I think I've just sort of assumed that grass carp were going to be more active during the day. But you never know. A little smaller. Six kilo grass carp, still worth 274 XP. All right, so there's a few grass carp there is a uh, bunch of experience as we're almost to 15 and a quarter now and 110 silver very consistent silver excellent xp again here in the ukraine using grass boilies and mint boilies and uh, you can do a lot worse than fishing for grass carp here in this spot this is a really good grind spot if you're just looking to work on your xp and, and silver so as always, thanks for watching and uh, tight lines. I'll see you next time.